I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. This video is all about Lua scripts. Lua scripts are a kind of like a program that you can run on your OpenTX radio. So a, a Tyrannus, a Horus, a QX7, whatever. And this program lets you change your beta flight settings, your PIDs, your rates, even to control your video transmitter right there from the radio. I made a video a little while back telling you how to update the firmware on your Tyrannus and install the Lua script. But the, the process for installing the Lua script has changed. It's actually way, way easier. I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, there's a, there's a bug with the latest version of OpenTX and the Lua script. If you've been trying to run your Lua script and you've been getting an out of memory error, I'm going to show you the fix for that. And I'm going to show you a quicker and easier way to update the firmware on your Tyrannus or your radio. And I'm going to show you a change I made to the Lua script. Little old me did a piece of programming to make it, I think, way better. Stay tuned. Guys, I got to keep this video quick. I know I always say that, but it's got to be true because... I'm working on getting Crossfire working and making videos for you about Crossfire, and that's why I'm updating my Lua scripts and stuff, because you need the newest version of OpenTX to, to do the Crossfire stuff. I got this, the Clearview module that I got to get testing. I got so much to do right now. Let's keep this video tight. If you want the full Joshua Bardwell edition of how to update the firmware on your radio, go back and watch the original Lua script videos I did. I'll put a link down in the video description. And that'll really handhold you, walk you through every step of the process. I'm going to go a little bit quicker this time. So I'm going to start up OpenTX Companion. And if you need to know how to download, install, and get OpenTX Companion set up, you're going to do all. You're going to go back and check out the original Lua script video that I, I made. Uh, so I'm going to assume you've already got that working. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the radio in. And like you know that thing you do where you hold the trim switches in and you turn the radio on to go into bootloader mode. You're not going to do any of that. Just with the radio powered down, you're going to plug it in. And this is true whether you've got uh, a Tyrannus or a Horus or whatever radio. It all works the same. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going – I need to – you know the driver fixing thing that you have to do for your flight controllers? you got to do that also for this radio before you can flash it. And flashing the radio is what we're about to do. Just make sure you got the most recent version of the firmware. Unfortunately, that useful app, the Impulse RC Driver Fixer – works for your Tyrannus too, just like it does for a flight controller. So I'm gonna run the Impulse RC driver fixer. And actually, uh, I've actually got it right down on my start menu. I use it so much. If you need to download it, there's a link in the video description, just download it. And what you should see is what you see here on the screen. It should say installing DFU driver. That should all work. After you have fixed the drivers, the next thing to do is to download the firmware for your radio and flash it to the radio. And you need to be on OpenTX version 221. But even if you're already on OpenTX 221, don't skip this section because there's actually a special version of 221 you need to flash to your radio to fix that Lua script out of memory problem. I'm going to show you what that is. So you got to flash this even if you're already on 221. And what you're going to do is you're going to click settings and then settings. And first thing you're gonna do is make sure that the radio type here is correct for your radio. So I've got an X9D plus, this would be for a, the QX7 would be X7 or X7S, uh, X10, X12, whatever your radio is. And the other thing you need to do is you need to check the Lua box and you need to check the Lua C box. This is what's gonna fix that out of memory error problem or prevent it from happening in the first place. Once you, I, by the way, I also like to check the no heli option because I don't fly collective pitch helicopters. It takes a screen out that I don't use anyway. So if you don't fly collective pitch helicopters, you can hit the no heli option. Okay, then once we've done that, we're going to click file, download, and we're going to download that firmware. And we're going to save that firmware somewhere on your hard drive. It doesn't matter where, wherever you like to save it, or you could just save it here in the default folder. You're also going to want to download the SD card contents. Um, this, if you have already downloaded and installed 221, you do not need to do this. But if you if you are on a previous version, if you're on 220 or an older version, then you're going to want to go here. You're going to download this zip file, SD card Tyrannus X922V0013. You're going to download that zip file. And once it downloads, you're going to extract it to somewhere on your hard drive. I have a more detailed instructions on how to do this in the original videos. 
After you've downloaded that stuff, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to do read, write, and write firmware to radio. And you are going to hit write to TX. And this is going to happen. And once that finishes, your radio will be updated to the newest version. Remember, again, you need to do this even if you're already on 221 to get that Lua C option. That's the thing you need to fix the out of memory error. Once that reaches 100%, I'm going to close and then. The next thing we need to do is we need to download that Betaflight Lua script and get that sucker onto the SD card of the radio. One way to do that is to simply pop the SD card out of the radio, pop it into your card reader, and there it is. The other thing to do, if you don't like to do that, is to get the radio into USB mass storage mode. Now, it used to be that you would have to do the thing where you held the trim switches in and you flipped the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you don't have to do that anymore. They've changed it. If I just turn the radio on and if I plug in... USB, you will get a little pop-up asking you whether you want USB joystick or USB storage. And by the way, this has tripped up a lot of people who are trying to use their Tyrannus as a joystick to like play a simulator. Uh, if you've upgraded to 221, it doesn't. It used to be that if you plugged in, it would just automatically be a joystick, and you'd have to put it in bootloader mode if you wanted to use get get at the SD card. Now, when you plug in, it asks you, "Do you want a joystick or do you want to use it as an SD card?" So, I'm just going to go down and highlight USB storage and hit enter. My computer. Yes, here I see Tyrannus underscore SD. You should see your Tyrannus or SD card show up there. That's how you do it. And what I'm going to do, and it's actually already here on mine. So I've already done this on mine, of course, but I'm going to walk you through the steps anyway. In my web browser, I'm going to go to this URL. This URL is down in the video description. And the, currently the version number is 101, whatever the version is at the time that you're watching this. Go ahead and grab that zip file. And so I've got my Tyrannus SD card here on the left, and I'm going to go to Downloads. Here's my zip file over here on the right, and there's this obj folder. Don't worry about that. I'm going to go into that folder, and you're going to see scripts and BF. And what you're going to do is you're going to take those, and you're going to drag them over and drag drop them right on your SD card. You don't need to – on the older version of the Lua script, you had to pick a different script file based on what radio you had – you don't have to do any of that. The instructions are, they've made it much, much simpler. You're just going to drag those over and drop them so they show up right on your SD card right here. BF.lu is right there, and then the scripts will get filled in with all this stuff, but you don't need to do any of that by hand. Once that stuff is on your radio, there's one more thing you need to do to avoid that out-of-memory error. What is that out-of-memory error anyway? Well, it turns out that when they went to OpenTX 221, they changed how much memory OpenTX allocated to the Lua scripts. And at the same time, the Betaflight Lua script got way, way bigger. It's like nine pages long now, and you can change everything. You can change your filters, your pin loop rate. You could change it all. And so the Betaflight script uses more memory than OpenTX can give it. The fix for this uh, you know what? Let's go over to the bench and I'll show you the fix. So I'm going to show you this on the Horus just for a change of pace, but the process is exactly the same on the Tyrannus or the QX7 or any of the other radios. The only difference is that on the Horus, you're going to hold down the Sys button to get to the menu. This is the radio setup menu. On the Tyrannus, you're going to hold down the uh, menu button. You'll get to this exact same menu and you're going to press menu or on the Horus, you're going to press page until you get to the SD card menu. Then you can see here we've got BF for beta flight. What you're going to do is you're going to click enter on the Tyrannus or you're going to click the jog wheel here. And you're going to see there's a file here that you didn't put here. This is the .lua C. So here's BF.lua and that you actually, whether you know it or not, you installed that when you copied those files over from the zip file that you downloaded. But this Lua C file is something different. This is a pre-compiled version of the Lua script that the radio has created. That's that Lua C option you chose when you flashed the radio. And basically, this takes up less memory. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit enter and then execute, and that will run the script. Damn you. Oh, right. This won't work because I did not flash this radio with the .lua C option. Wow, okay. 
That's my Owen Wilson impression. Wow. Wow. This didn't get flashed with a Lewisy option. Wow. Okay. There you go. That's just for you guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I got to go get the Tyrannus after all. Okay, so over here on the Tyrannus, I'm going to long press the menu button to get to the radio setup menu. I'm going to press page until I get to the SD card contents. I'm going to highlight the Betaflight uh, folder, which is the first one in this case. I'm going to press enter one time. And then I'm going to highlight the bf.luac file. I'm going to long press enter and choose execute. And that will run the script. And normally, if you just try and run the Lua script, the .lua script, as you page through, you'll get a, a, a memory error. But here, you can see I'm not getting the memory error. There's one more thing to say about this that's a little unfortunate. You might be used to, uh, here in the telemetry screen, you have gone and you've changed one of your screens to script, and you've selected the Betaflight script. And then, if you want to get to the Betaflight script quickly, you just hold down the page key. Boom! There it is. But that's running the .lua file that will have the memory error problem. So unfortunately, on OpenTX221, you can't do that. There's no quick way to run that .luac script. And so every time you want to go run the script, you have to do menu, page, enter, enter, execute. Every time. That's a little annoying. It's a, I, I wish the OpenTX guys would find a way to give us a shortcut. Um, it's also true on the on the Horus. That's, I think that's been true. I don't know if there's ever been a way to do that. But... You're going to lose that functionality. That's unfortunate. There's one more thing I want to show you, my little programming tip. And here's the thing. Which Lua script screen do you use the most? Like, you, how often do you change the PIDs or the rates or any of that stuff? Once you got your copter dialed in, you probably leave that stuff alone. The one that I use the most is the VTX screen. I'm constantly checking and changing my channel or maybe my output power as I go around and fly on different days. And it's a real pain in the butt to me that Betaflight puts that screen last. The reason they put that screen last is because some of you guys out there still don't have smart audio. Get with the program. It's awesome. But <laughs> And so they were like, well, since not everybody's going to have it, let's just put it at the end. But I want the VTX screen to be first. So as soon as I run the script, boom, there it is. And the tip that I've got for you here is how to make that happen. Here's my SD card contents. And if I go into the scripts folder and into the BF folder. What? There's a snake there's a snake app that you can run for in your Tyrannus. Whoa. Okay, more more of that later. <laughs> here, um, I'm going to go uh, to BF. And then here, the file I'm looking for is ui.lua. And if you actually edit that file, now I'm going to put this part in for you programmers out there or you aspiring programmers or just people who want to see into the guts. But I'm also just going to give you a link to the exact file that you can copy over on your on your SD card if you don't want to do what I'm about to show you. So in the file, you're going to look for the line that reads local current page equals one. That's this line here. And you're going to change it to read. You're going to change it to read local current page equals number pound sign parentheses page files, which basically says that when the script starts up, it should start on the last uh, page, which is the VTX page. If you want to make yours do that, just copy the ui.lua that, that I'm going to link to down in the video description. Copy that onto your SD card in place of the ui.lua that's already there. Another thing you can do if you want to uh, play with the Lua scripts is you can go into your individual radio's subfolder. So for me, it would be the X9. And there's a file there called x9pre.lua. In this one, you can actually reorder this section right here to completely reorder the pages any way you want. Um, yeah, so that's another thing you could do. That is going to do it. Now you have got a working Lua script on your radio. You've got no more out-of-memory errors. You're on the latest OpenTX, and you're ready for all the wonderfulness. Oh, OpenTX 221. That means I can do Crossfire soon, my friends, soon. I'm so tempted to just stick Crossfire on a quad and go out and fly it, but there's all these other things I have to do first, and you're going to have to do them too. So I got to make videos and that's why I'm so freaking slow to get anything done because I want to document every step of the way for you. So you got nothing. You can, you can do it too, at least as much as possible. Alarm. Well, I got to go. My Tyrannus is shouting at me. <laughs> you guys have a good night. Thank you for watching. Happy flying.